foot structures of birds, anisodactyl. Birds with three forward facing toes and one backward facing toe. This is the most common foot structure in birds. Three toes in front and one at the back. This enables them to perch. Songbirds, ducks and geese, stilts, flamingos and others have anisodactyl feet. The hind toe is called the hallux and it is the first digit. Birds with anisodactyl feet are perching birds. Their toe arrangement enables them to have a strong grip on branches and wire fences. This African green pigeon hung like this for a few seconds before flying off to feed. Note its tight grip on the overhead cable. African green pigeon gripping a thin branch. The hallux joins the leg at the same level as the three front toes. About three quarters of all birds have an isodactyl feet. This cape long claw has an extra long claw on its hallux. This cape rock jumper uses its anisodactyl feet to clamber over rocks. Why don't birds fall off their perches at night when they are roosting? These birds have a tendon in the rear of the leg that is automatically pulled and tightened when the leg bends. This enables the foot to curl around when the bird lands on a branch. The tendon is locked in place by another tendon. So passerines sleep while perching without falling off. Ant eating chat, gripping onto a thin branch. Raptors also have anisodactyl feet and they can grab their prey and grip it tightly with their feet and talons. Black winged kite gripping the mouse tightly in its talons while it tears off pieces. Weavers use their feet to grip onto their nests while they are building it and also while they are displaying for the females. Eastern Golden Weaver male hanging upside down while displaying. A few more examples of birds with anisodactyl feet. Crakes, their toes are long so they can walk over floating vegetation and not sink into the water. Black crake walking over floating vegetation. Crakes large feet help to distribute their weight evenly. Balon's crack also walking over floating vegetation. African crack showing its large toes. Raptors, like this Emma falcon female. Crested honey buzzard. Eagles have massive talons, like this martial eagle. The crowned eagle is Africa's most powerful eagle. A crowned eagle juvenile perching on one leg. And kestrels, like this rock kestrel with a lizard in its talons. Passerines like the larks and the weavers 
Weave your feet up close. Village weaver male gripping his nest while weaving strips of grass. Pigeons like the speckled pigeon. Speckled pigeon perching. And finches like this red headed finch. Thrushes like this Cape Rock thrush. Cape Rock thrush gripping a near vertical branch. And the battises like this Cape battis. And the white eyes, Orange River white eye here. And the sunbirds. Southern double collared sunbird featured. Ducks and geese. They have webbing between toes two, three, and four, and a raised hallux. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and post any comments you have down below.